Today we are celebrating our first responders. The past couple of years have been especially traumatic. Standing by with more, Dr. Anna Fitch Corey, Director of Responder Wellness with the FirstNet program at AT&T, and Dennis Lenahan, a first responder with the Millis Fire Department in Boston. Thanks so much for your work. And what can you tell us about the past year and a half? Absolutely. I think that COVID had, you know, before, before COVID, we rec we, we were seeing in the data and the literature that post-traumatic stress, depression, anxiety were far exceeding the general population in the first responder profession. What we see, what AT&T sees as the FirstNet program is being built out, that is America's network dedicated to public safety. We're deploying hand in hand with public safety and seeing the impact of running to somebody's worst day to the sights, smells, sounds that you and I probably really don't want to imagine or think about on a day-to-day -day basis. They do this day in and day out without thinking about it. You know, Dennis is about to start a 16-hour shift this evening and you know, be ready to respond as his community needs it. Dennis, how important is this program to you and how is it helping you? You know, um, as, as Dr. Corey mentioned, you know, unfortunately we see in and experience a whole lot of things that folks would never want to imagine. And, um, you know, the cumulative effect over time of, of, of seeing these things uh, can take its toll. Um, and being not only physical well or, or physically fit, but also well is, is important. What can we as a general public do to help first responders? So that's a great question as well. Firstnet.com has a a landing page dedicated to the health and wellness of first responders. So we invite people to check out firstnet.com backslash health, health and wellness and see how we're collaborating, integrating and partnering with public safety to address their health and wellness needs. It's not really a one size fits all. We're looking at those specific communities and how we can best support them with where they're at with their health and wellness. And most, and most of all, also helping to just address the conversation of health and wellness and public safety. Thank you both for all that you do. Thank you. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.